What's up everybody? I believe this is uh, week four of making the cow really clean during quarantine. Um, currently, what I'm about to do is, I, I already took off the majority of the clips. I'm gonna be installing the new ones that you guys saw with the uh, replacement for the gaskets. And I'll be using goo off. The reason I'm using goo off for is because I left tape all over these holes so rain wouldn't get through when it was raining when uh, I was painting the rails and ordering these clips. And it leaves like sticky residue because of the sun. It gets all heated up, it gets gooey. I'm mad now because, all right, so this is it, the final product. This shit, it's nice, you know. If we head over to this side, it was worse, but look at that. The seams seem pretty light. On point. I tried sliding them back and forth because you know they lock right here. See these sit nice and flush. So it's supposed to sit that far back. But I also noticed the body line. And then hopefully you guys hear that over my dad's music. Here's the body line on this side. If you can't tell, it's kind of hard. The hood is like out, and I'm assuming this got hit slightly because let me hit it with this side. Completely way more loud. Sounds completely like aluminum or loose. That might be this slow. but it's completely hollow in here. So this is the girl's final product. Uh, it cut out, but I stopped the video because uh, one of my dad's like, I don't know, he's like his friend a long time, like ever since I was a kid. He was always on a part related shit. He's the one who painted his truck this color when it was pimp. Dirty bumper. Um, I was just showing the grill insert. Dirty bumper. This is what the grill inserts look like. All black. But he's actually the one who's going to be painting my rims. Um, just you guys will find out soon. They're going to be black, but there's a special surprise. There's something about this fucking headlights, bro. I want to go fog, but they're gonna be illegal as of like June this year because of Pritzker's bitch ass. What up, guys? Um, uh, what one is this? Today is after the day that I put all the roof rails back on, all the trimming and everything. Uh, today we're gonna be doing. It's nice out. It's like 63 degrees. It's pretty, pretty good. But it's, looks like it's gonna rain eventually. Um, I'm gonna just be taking out the the fucking hot tube piping, so my dad could go take him to work, sandblast them, because we already removed the ones that go under the inner cooler, and then there might be one more we gotta remove. But um, I don't know if I previously showed you guys. This is one of the yeah. yeah. One of the J ones. But yeah, do is remove these two screws. Probably these right here too. Well, I will have to on them. That one right there. I was kind of, yeah, so I couldn't really pull that out, and it was because of these, uh, grooves, rivets, I don't know, it's just so it could sit there, I was just trying to pull on it, and you know, uh, you kind of just needed to tug at it with two hands. I had to put this one on the vise and then twist it, because these were actually kind of tight. Um, that's about the only 
sign of rust and that's it about it as for this one you can't tell the bottom is probably i mean it's not that bad compared to the ones that were under here but uh, that's just still nasty like, the fact that it was up here and that's most likely because of the hood it's kind of hard to tell right now but because of the lighting but i got some rust under the hood here at the top yeah, I don't know why it's so bad. Well, it's just because of time. This guy, that's just exposure. But whenever I wash the car, water sits down here in the scoops. And then for the one in the middle, it just has nowhere to run. And it travels here, and that's where it all rusts. And every time after I wash my car, I always have to have my hood up for it. I leave it up for like the duration of when I'm cleaning and drying the rest of my car. Because then shit like that happens. And this is my baby. Stock turbo. But it does push. I heard on um on a normal tune, maybe NS1 injectors and a downpipe and you're straight. That's probably the best idea. I'm probably gonna talk about what my plans are with this car. So, let me get a chair, to be honest. Plans are still kind of in the air right now for me. Because this is going to be my daily driver. Of course, I want it a little clean. But what I want from it, other than reliability, I'm not sure yet. Because reliability has to be the top priority. You know what I originally wanted to do was do a downpipe, get coilovers, probably in that order, and then just make make it look clean. I don't think I would go at aftermarket wheels maybe until another year, just because I already have to buy tires, and I don't know if I want that investment right now. Um, you see the downpipe? I'm not gonna cheap out. I'm gonna make it good i know there's modern performance has catalyst down pipes but i heard it doesn't have a flange that hooks up onto the stock motor mount because they tend to crack especially when under high torque load because these cars are really torquey a lot of a lot of torque steer my other option is I'm not sure I even want to tell you guys, but I think I might, just because, you know, it's a small following. I'm thinking about, you know, keeping it reliable, make it look clean, just paint the wheels black, possibly just don't do anything to keep it how it is. Maybe just an exhaust, because you can't, you know, you gotta have it sound decent, but it's on stock rim, stock ride height, wood, like, coilover would for sure make it look better, but... You know, I could live with it, especially in the snow. Since I'm in the Midwest, like, that shit's gonna be a bitch. Might as well leave it stock. I do hate how it handles, though. That's the thing. My other option, get a single cab Chevy. That's, like, from the top of my head. It was, like, when I first was car picking, something from the top of my head. Now, I have a Dodge Calvary. You know, you never know. My options might change. I still have the mini truck. But, you know, a single cap would look clean. Would I make my daily? Would I make both of my dailies? I don't know. But just a clean, simple truck. V8. I wouldn't mind it. it it's already got a fatter engine. But I don't know. I don't know. Because if I do go all out with this caliper, I already have a planned set blueprint of what I want it to look like and it's within my budget but you know I'm also considering put it towards something else or something better on oh, my bed I, I always forget that you guys are at, like down here but like I have you up here I love you know let me know in the comment section what you guys want or what you guys think is the best I'll say is that for sure these wheels are you going in for paint this weekend? They're gonna be black. I'm gonna go out for the murder look, but there will be a twist. 
if anybody can guess the outcome of what the wheels are going to turn out painted. I don't know. I don't know. What about this? Maybe a free comfort me down. With the wheels, I forgot to mention, yeah, the piping that I took off is going off for paint as well, along with the wheels. But I'm going to paint the piping red. It's like well along with the calibers. I'm trying to go with the black red. Look. You know, it's kind of basic because there's a lot of black cars, black calibers. It's not uncommon. But, you know, it's each to each their own. I'm going to put my own twist on it. Hopefully get, not some stickers, but like, I don't want a full wrap either, but I want some images on my car. So if anybody knows what exactly that is called or knows anybody in Illinois that could do it for me, you know, just uh, I'll I have a design I want on the side of the car. If, you, if that could get worked out, printed, let me know. <laughs> I'm in the Northwest suburbs of Illinois. Honestly, really all I wanted to talk about is quarantine, this lockdown. But honestly, right now is the best time to be working on my car since I don't need it. As you can tell, it's on Jack stands. If you enjoyed what you liked, it, there wasn't a lot to talk about today, but you know, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you'd like to see more content on this car. Um, also give me feedback, what do you guys want to see? Um, let me know one more uh, you guys want me to see do, how to how to film, any, any tips, you know. It's my first few videos. I'm starting a YouTuber. Everybody starts up. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next video. You can post this thing. I'm recording this on my like phone. Oh. <laughs> so it's gonna be good quality. So let me see that shit. <laughs> ah, no. <sighs> Most part is cleared. <coughs> More than what I cleared it. Ooh, review. Stoned. <laughs> you haven't done this shit in ages. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way.